Tink. Do something. Do something indeed. It appears that we're working. Testing, testing. Testing. Yeah. Sweet. Fire away. Oh, you want me to start? Oh, look at that. Well, hey, <laughs> uh, as you can see, we're, we're up to our usual shenanigans here. Good evening. Uh, welcome to the PGL Lobbycast. This is episode 304, brought to you live here on the 18th of December, 2014. It's a Thursday here in the beautiful state of Colorado, United States of America, on this great planet Earth. Yep. It's the last show before the, uh, the Christmas show. That's right. I may even promise Christmas shenanigans, but don't hold your breath. Yay, Christmas shenanigans. Get your uh, he, he says that his wife is going to sing Christmas carols. I'm going to make her sing for hours. <laughs> for hours and hours. Well, as usual, this show is absolutely 100% not brought to you by Diet Cherry Dark Pepper. It's also not brought to you by Smart Water. Oh, so, is this my Smart Water? Uh, maybe. Hmm. Maybe. I'm not going to drink it. I'm not putting that <laughs> in my mouth. I wouldn't. It's, if you don't know where it's been, it's usually a good rule of life. If you don't know it's where either it's either mine been, or don't Sam's. Put it in your mouth. And uh, I'm not going to put it in my mouth. Yeah, either way. Don't put it in your <laughs> mouth. Don't do it. <laughs> Absolutely not. So, what's going on with you, Will? Uh, I'm exhausted. Me too. Awesome. So, tired, tired show tonight by your poor, beleaguered hosts. Yeah, I was uh, I was falling asleep on the way over here, but I did because I I recently discovered uh, Monster Unleaded, which is caffeine free Monster. That sounds dangerous. Um, so it's I I am chock full of energy blend right now. Hmm. So all the, all the maybe it'll kick in taurine and ginseng and well, whatever. And yeah, tetrahydro. All the eans that are not caffeine. Right. All, the all stuff. those. Yeah. Cool. Well, you're ahead of me. I'm uh, working purely off of caffeine and hate at this point, so <laughs> we should be good to go. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm on uh, no caffeine and resentment. Nice. You make a good team. <laughs> <laughs> there is that. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it smells of regret in this basement. <laughs> Lots of regret. <laughs> this is me lying awake at 2.45 in the morning going, it's only 2.45 in the morning. This is terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. Uh, do, you do you have any news that you would like to talk about? Do I have any news that I would like to talk about? Um, we, we have, we uh, have a couple stuff of to talk about. topics we do down have. here. Uh, I'm going to throw a dart and go. We might as well just break right into it. Uh, the big news for today that I saw, of course, was the interview uh dear sony pictures why why oh why did you have to kowtow to a bunch of 12 year olds behind a computer yeah um, but you know, i don't know um under threat of of pretend terrorist attacks yeah so for those of you not uh paying attention to the news that rely on us solely for all of your news needs so sad uh, which really you know you need to just stop. For, for God's sakes, at least watch <laughs> Stephen Colbert or something. <laughs> something, something. But uh, Sony Pictures uh, filmed The Interview, which is a comedic movie starring James Franco, Seth Rogen, about two kind of bumbling, hapless reporters that were granted an audience with the Supreme Leader of North Korea, uh, were then recruited by the CIA to assassinate said Supreme Leader of North Korea. The film was supposed to release next week for Christmas week for the holidays has been pulled from all theaters, has been pulled from all video on demand. In other words, it's going to sit on a dusty shelf somewhere in the archives next to the Ark of the Covenant for probably 20, 25 years until somebody will stumble upon it, dust it off, and go, how do you play DVD discs? Yeah, yeah. What is this strange technology? It's, it's basically not going to get seen until there's no such thing as a supreme leader apparently yeah so whenever north korea rejoins the rest of the world uh we may get to see this movie or we'll have to settle with leaked footage which i've already seen a couple uh scenes on the internet so if you're curious i know you can find it out there um but 
there is some leaked footage out there, especially of the said assassination, which I don't want to give away too much for those of you that are going to hunt this thing down. But um, basically, yeah, because of uh, hacking uh, believed to be tied to North Korea that has subsequently put all of Sony's employees' payroll and personal information out on the net, and this same hacking group saying, we're going to start shooting up theaters, Sony has said, fine, you win, we'll pull the plug. It's just crazy. Yeah. I mean, this has drawn attention with even the likes of Mitt Romney, where Mitt Romney on Twitter and take the maybe it was James Carey, but it was one of the politicians out there whose names are fairly interchangeable for me at this point. But they got on Twitter on Twitter. Oh Lord, I am tired. <laughs> they got on the Twitter. Uh, they got on the Twitter and said, uh, "Sony, don't pull the plug. Uh, show it for free and request five dollar donations to go fight Ebola." So I'm not sure. I think how, that's a that's a great idea. It's a hell of an idea but they wouldn't even go for that. Uh, the other side terrible. note to this is that a couple of theaters have come out and said, well, okay, fine. If you're not going to let us show the interview, then what we're going to do is we're going to show Team America World Police <laughs> which for is free. Uh, So, uh, your move, North Korea, your move. Depends on which uh, which movie slandering your supreme leader you care. Yeah, to I don't. I don't remember there being this. I mean, I know that there was some. Um, there was some talk whenever Team America mm -hmm. came out, but the, it, it wasn't anything like to this extent. No, not at means. all to this extent. I don't know. Well, yeah. I just don't know what's wrong with people these days. I don't either. Um, and I think it's going to be interesting to see what happens as the years go by where kind of this internet hacktivism attitude to see how it starts shaping, you know, corporate policy and public policy and public thought. Which is exactly what we don't want it to do. Right. That's kind of a scary concept. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think Anonymous has done some good things. Some very good things as far as getting information released and uh, recently taken up some causes. Uh, I don't know if you heard about the 16-year-old that was burned to death down in the South. I did. I did. But they're taking up her cause as well. So, I mean, some of these groups do great things. Some of these groups are, well, total assholes. So, and, and they have way too much time on their hands. There's that too. There is that. So that's the big news that I heard for today, at least uh, regarding the film world. Yep. What else do you got? Uh, well, the uh, the Walking Dead spinoff series, which uh, starts up, I think, in February, right around the same time as when um, the Walking Dead comes back from its mid-season uh, hiatus. hiatus. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's going to be set in L.A. And the interesting thing about this, you know, the, uh, the series proper uh, takes place in the Atlanta area. They haven't really strayed too far away from Atlanta. Uh, so Atlanta and surrounding area, uh, but with LA, I, I just I can't help but think that they chose that setting so that they could have celebrity cameos yes. as like you know because they've got to have uh, they've got to have a lot of actors and actresses sure. saying oh I want to be on the show I want to be a zombie or whatever and now now they're creating. The, 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 the proper perfect, the perfect atmosphere for yeah. oh hey look it's uh, Seth Rogen you know, as himself as dead. Himself, as a zombie as a zombie perhaps chewing on James Franco's leg or uh, you know One and so you know it could be a it could have a completely different um, feeling to it sure it'll be interesting I, I there's lots of there's lots of um, there are a lot of stories to be told. You know, within that world. Right. I mean, obviously, you could say that every major metropolitan center has its kind of survivors and its survivor cells and how do they live and, you know. But LA will be interesting. I, sure. I hope they don't stray too far down the, uh, down the plastic sunset beach path. <laughs> um, I, I hope. You know. We're going to have sandy zombies. <laughs> yeah. You know, beach zombies and... I'm trying to think of what other horrors they could unleash. Yeah. Surfing zombies? Nice. Nice. <laughs> Valet zombies. 
Happy <laughs> <Abby> zombie. <laughs> Bill Murray yeah. is a zombie. Uh, what? That I've never may heard of have such been thing. done once before. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I mean, we'll we'll see what they they do with it. But um, putting it in L.A., they almost they almost have to have celebrity zombies now. Because it's so, what you would expect. I mean, you would expect, oh, you know, there's Britney LA, Spears so, uh, chewing or, on Christina Aguilera. Oh, look over there. It's, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So we'll see. It, I mean, the you know, same people are involved. So same creative team. So it should still be decent. Mm-hmm. I mean, as long as they don't stray too far from the psychological aspects of what does it mean to be a survivor. And what does it mean to be a survivor in this particular set of circumstances? Maybe certain cities are f- more fun to be a, a survivor in. Maybe. Maybe. I'd like to think Denver would be pretty sweet. but I'm probably <sighs> biased. <laughs> <laughs> be way too many hipster zombies. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Who don't eat brains. Who don't eat brains. Are they gluten-free? Ah. Uh... <laughs> I we, know I'm judgmental. We, we would so. definitely have snowboarding zombies. Yes. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, and uh, Wonder Woman. It's kind of an interesting thing. Uh, Warner, Warner Brothers has five or six different writer writers or writer teams okay. working on Wonder Woman scripts right now. So now, now is, I wonder if they're going to. Uh, you know, like try and pick the best one. This uh, the Wonder Woman movie is something that that they've struggled with for a very long time. Like yes. actually putting they're, it on on screen. Yeah, they're Small struggling with the movie. Screen because, they were struggling with the TV series, and that was going to be my question. Was yeah, Warner Brothers the one that had the rights to it most recently. Right, right, and it's still Warner Brothers that, that okay. owns it. So. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to, what what to think of that. If that's a good sign or a bad sign, it's like if they're really trying to get solid, uh, solid writing for it. Mm-hmm. You know, we'll see. I mean, obviously, Joss Whedon was probably busy and perhaps still bitter about Firefly. So, because <laughs> wasn't he originally assigned to the first Wonder Woman? Maybe I, I don't remember now. There, it's it's gone back and it's gone back and forth a few times. Um, he may have been one of the ones in, in contention for it, but my, uh, did you ever watch that one pilot that was filmed for Wonder Woman? Mm-mm. It was pretty awful. <laughs> That's what I heard. Uh, I heard that there was a lot of problems, not only with the pilot itself, uh, but also the fact that they could never really nail down a solid actress and then all the costuming issues. That right, had fanboys up in arms and fangirls right. up in arms. Sure. The uh, the Wonder Woman uh, pilot that I saw, um, Diana Prince was just kind of a jerk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so it didn't really. I don't know. Maybe that's what she's supposed to be. I, I'm not familiar that well with the uh, with the the comic books, so. Yeah, I'm not terribly familiar with the comic books. I was other a big than they fan of that in, TV show when I was a little kid. Oh yeah, my you know, and and for those of you that know Erin from the show, uh, oh. she is still a huge, a huge Wonder Woman uh, original 1970s show fan. Uh, huge, huge. Uh, she can tell you all about every single episode from start to finish, and more detail than I could ever even hope for. But, right. Uh, so. Yeah, my my friend Morgan is a is a big Wonder Woman mm-hmm. fan also. Uh, yeah. Did you see anything? Uh, no, I don't see anything. It was supposed to have come out in 2011. Uh, oh, but originally on NBC. Now, Adrian P- uh, Palicki wasn't she the same? Uh, yikes! Yeah, bad a, picture. Not her. a good picture. Her. Uh, for those of you playing at home, go to her Wikipedia, <laughs> Wikipedia page and you'll understand what we were saying. Uh, now I'm going to feel like a jerk for reacting like that. Hey. Uh, 
She was in Friday Night Lights. Yes. Friday Night Lights, Legion, Red Dawn, Lady J in G.I. Joe Retaliation, and, oh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So, how about that? I'm sure she'll be fine. Yeah, she'll be fine. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that pilot true. wasn't wasn't great. So, um, oh, you know, I'm sure we'll we'll get more news about that. There it is. You all right there? Yeah. No, I lost the feed. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I thought I broke the internet. <laughs> nope. I've been known to do it once or twice. <laughs> Which is an amazing task. It takes effort. Because the internet is vast. And all-knowing. <laughs> and all-knowing. <laughs> Filled with cat pictures. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yes. So yeah. stay tuned for more news on Wonder Woman. Uh, hopefully, I wish him success. You know, uh, Agents of Shield, from what I heard, kind of had a rocky launch. Uh, I don't foresee any other real superhero TV shows coming back to the small screen now that we're finished with uh, Smallville. And well, uh, I guess Arrow is still going well. Arrow and Flash, which are related, yeah, same, to each other, but not to not to Smallville. Well, and not to the movies. Okay. Um, okay. And let's see, what's the other one? Oh, Gotham, also not canon. Okay. So Flash, Arrow, Gotham, the current TV shows that deal with the DC universe mm -hmm. All are not related to the movies. Okay. Yeah. Which are, are basically attached to Justice League. Okay. Surrounding Justice League. Okay. So, yeah. All right, well, let's uh, move on to some video game news. Yeah. Uh, the Xbox One was the top-selling console for the U.S. and U.K. for the month of November. They had the, the price drop, and they already had some bund bundles in place, which made, made it very uh, appealing. appealing to grab one of those bundles for 349 Yeah, well, And if you traded in an Xbox 360 to the Microsoft Store, you got 100 bucks for it, and... Then making the Xbox One two forty nine, mm -hmm. so you know that's a great price for a system that's only been out for a year. And that's two fifty for the system minus Connect, right? Correct. Correct. So that was their other good marketing move. Is a lot of people were leery about. Oh, I don't want Connect and that. I <laughs> love the Connect. It's awesome. I love it. Yeah. Uh, I don't play Connect based games because my living room is approximately four feet deep, and I wind up hurting myself. Um. <laughs> yeah. Like the one time I was doing uh, Xbox Fitness and I wound up accidentally launching my coffee table halfway across the room. Ha! Ah, that sucked. That was yeah. painful. That's why I don't have a coffee table in my living room anymore. It's a good plan. It's a yeah. good plan. Because mine's made out of steel and maple and it really hurt. <laughs> 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 I did it with the back of my foot too. I was all into it, man. I was kickboxing. I went straight back. Bam! Knocked that thing over. Immediately lost all feeling in my foot. It's awesome. <laughs> Split my awesome. heel open. was bleeding all over the place. It's good for you, buddy. It was connect-based injury. It was awesome. I'm sure it's not the first, right. nor no, will it be the nor last. Nor will it be the last. Um, but yeah, but now that Microsoft has said, hey, okay, fine, you don't want to connect, we'll, uh, we'll work with you. We'll make it an option. We'll exclude it. Bring the price point down even more. Really help them sell a few more of those units, I think, so. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I don't play the connect based games. I actually don't have any connect based games on my uh, on my system. Mm -hmm. um, but I do use it for navigation. Yes. And walking into the room and saying Xbox on mm -hmm. or Xbox turn off mm -hmm. or let's Xbox go to Plex, Xbox go to Netflix, mm -hmm. you know, all those things. Xbox I definitely yep. definitely use those. Oh yeah. So and for that it's fantastic. No. But again, I can also see why people are like, I don't need a device that costs a hundred bucks for me to yell at my living room. I like yelling I at too. my living room. I do too. I'm not arguing. I'm just and saying. if you would hook your uh, satellite in there, it's it's got a fine, fine, uh, um, the one guy interface. No, yeah. my satellite does run through my my Xbox One. It does. It does through the one guide? Yes. Well, yes. It is. Okay. It is plugged into the Xbox. If you is, say Xbox, go to TV. Does it bring up your satellite? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, right. However, I don't use the one guide because I find that it's so much easier to just push the direct TV menu button 
and go to where I need to do, especially because we do so much with the DVR function. And I don't know if the Xbox One it has does. addressed DVR functionality. I believe it has now in the newer Ooh. updates. Ooh. Tell me more. And there's uh, there's uh, like recommendations based on what's popular on Xbox Live and okay. among your friends and on Twitter and and you can actually inter- interact directly. Um, like if something's popular on Twitter, you can just pull it up if you have access to it. So. Okay. Well, I will try the DVR functions uh, via the one guide, and I will let you know yeah. what success I have. I, I think that was a part of an update about a month ago that gives you um, like voice commands over okay. over some of that stuff. So I know it does the play, pause, rewind, fast forward. Right. Which it does for everything else that has play, yeah. pause, rewind, fast forward. I, I don't know that I read it was coming or that it was out. Okay. I don't I don't recall because I, d- I don't have cable or satellite. Right. So <laughs> you are living purely off the internet. Yeah. And more power to you. Yeah. Yeah. So um, there's that. There is that. And last a uh, little bit of news. Uh, Minecraft is uh, getting a story mode. Yeah, so it's early 2015, they're getting a story mode. So we'll the whole we'll see idea how it goes. of Minecraft that you just do stuff. Yeah, you'll have freedom to do stuff, and then you also have a, a guided experience. Okay. You'll probably be able to create your own stories. Is what I'm I'm uh, imagining is going to happen. Sure. <laughs> okay. I I, I haven't I played Minecraft. I have no idea. I have. Um, not expansively. I've put maybe 20, 25 hours into it total across two systems. I know it's it's a lot. It's actually a lot of time. Um, I tried survival mode when I first got it. I got blown up by a creeper almost immediately. I said, "Well, this is annoying." I went into the non-survival mode and just explored. And I was like, "I'm apparently not creative enough to really tap into the full world of Minecraft." Because I see some of the worlds that people have created, uh, internet factor fiction, take your choice, but you know, people recreating castles and cities and towns and villages and monuments in you know, Abu Dhabi and the Taj Mahal, and I'm sitting sure. there going, I made a four by four square house, yay. <laughs> that took me six hours, yay. Yeah. <laughs> me special, yay. Yeah, I don't, back, I don't care. So, yeah. I don't think I would care to, to do that. Um, like designing cities and like compounds, mm-hmm. and, you know, placing houses and, and different buildings like that inside yeah. of uh, strategy games, I'm fine with. But building right. structures, I just don't know if I would enjoy that as much. Right. Well, I don't know, especially since they're just big squares. Um, if I had a little bit more control, I'd be a little bit more uh, engaged, I guess. Now, what I can't I design argue, a house exactly yeah. how I wanted it to right. be, then that that wouldn't be so bad. What I what I cannot argue about Minecraft is that it is a fairly, at least not in survival mode, where everything wants to eat you, but in just normal build explore mode, it is a fairly zen game. You can you does it can have soft music? Down. It does. It has actually fairly interesting music. Um, you know, it was uh, composed by a friend of the original creators, as far as I'm aware. If I'm wrong, please don't send me hate mail. Uh, but it's very simplistic. Um, there's a word I'm looking for, but I'm struggling because I've had no sleep. Uh, minimalistic is the word I'm looking for. It's very okay. minimalistic music, but it's a very it creates a very zen atmosphere. Okay. So for that regard, if you're looking for something to just chill out, turn your mind off, break some blocks, that's the one. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Any other news? No. Okay. Well, let's uh, go ahead and get into the weekly watches then. Mm-hmm. Will. What you listening to this week? Uh, this week, I have knocked out some Black Keys, uh, their brother's album in particular. Uh, close always respectable. Always good. Uh, also some El Camino. 
Uh, also on the heels, El Camino is a great album. It's a fantastic album. Also on the heels of that is uh, the Heavy um, uh, UK trio or quartet, but kind of a blues uh, in that same vein. Um, good stuff. Um, and then uh, a little inner party system. And uh, what else popped up on uh, on the radar today? Uh, I think I fell back into I Lana Del Rey. How did you come across inner party system? I've had inner party system for years. Really? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't remember that ever coming up. Whenever we had uh, their their music playing on our show, because uh, I I don't know if it was just me or me and Sam. I've been you and you and Sam. We we uh, we met them and like got permission to use their music. Oh, like directly from the artists themselves. May have been while I was overseas. Uh, it was uh, before, right before they broke up. Okay. Actually, uh, within oh, six months of them breaking up. Okay, that's funny. That's man, man, they popped up American Trash. And I was rocking out on my way home today. <laughs> yeah, I like them. I'm like, how random is that? There you go. Yeah, it may have been while I was overseas. One of the two times. So. Oh yeah, oh that's funny. Yeah, I, I went to go go see them and and like hung out with them and and uh made sure it's okay that we use their music and nice. yeah cool hey, right that's on. funny <laughs> yeah <laughs> popped right up there it tied right into the show hey maybe i'll go uh, since since i have permission from a band that doesn't exist anymore to use their music maybe that'll uh i'll maybe use a little intro inner party system music to uh to in and out the show it could be all right, we'll do that. Yeah. What else? That's it. Uh, that's really about it for me. How about you? All right. Well, uh, mostly podcasts. I listen yes. to some uh, random, you know, some shuffle all in the car. Right. And as, you uh, do. as I do, as I do. And I listen to part two. I finally got around to listening to part two of Smodcast, Kevin okay. Smith interviewing Joe Rogan. Okay. And man, it's just great. I may go back and listen to that whole thing again. That and I think Joe uh, Joe Rogan has his own show, and I may pick that up too. Okay. Uh, we'll see, man. I just I've got so much content coming at me from <laughs> from all sides. It's a little hard to catch up, you know, because right. I'm I'm so supposed to be uh, uh, getting into Serial, which is an right. NPR show. Uh, Brick was talking about that. Brick was talking weeks. about it, and uh, uh, Paris from uh, the Balcony and Gamertag Radio podcast. Right. Um, been he's been talking about that on Facebook. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to start listening to more. Less shuffle all in my stereo, yep. and uh, and more podcasts. Yes, indeed. I listen to. Uh, Freakonomics, listen to five episodes of that. That's maybe what I need to cut down on. Maybe. Uh, if, maybe. But it's going to be a similar type deal. I listened to the episodes on uh, what can vampires teach us about economics. Okay. And should the U.S. merge with Mexico? No. <laughs> <laughs> there are some strong arguments. I know. I know. There are some strong arguments. Uh, the influx of, of a, a youthful workforce was right. one of the the bigger ones. My whole concept with merging with Mexico is I'm perfectly fine with it as long as we take Canada too. There were that was there was some talk of that. Cool, <laughs> but but uh, I just want free travel back up to, to Canada. Uh, Vicente Fox, uh, former former president of Mexico, um, he. It wants closer ties, like more of an alliance of the Americas rather than uh, of the North American countries. Right. Not so much merging. Right. But more of an alliance. Lose the like, national identity. Right. Right. And he, you know, for them, it's you know, it's all about it's uh, all about their culture and wanting to keep their culture intact. Mm -hmm. So, which is fine. Yeah. There's nothing nothing wrong with that. But something's more similar to the European Union, just like a North American Union. Okay. Union of the Americas. Yeah, a little more freedom of travel and, and all that kind of stuff. A little less narco-terrorism? A little less. Okay. 
Yeah, I think uh, I think a lot of that would move to the South American countries uh, if if uh, we could hope. Yeah, we could hope. We could hope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting thoughts all around. Yeah, and then uh, the man who would be everything, and is uh, an episode about the uh, not about, but it was an interview with the mayor of London. Okay. And very interesting guy. Uh, it's worth a listen. All right. And uh, he had written um, a biography of Winston Churchill. Okay. And uh, they were kind of talking about that as well. Nice. And I'd be interested to read that, actually. Yeah. Especially after uh, seeing firsthand recently some of the uh, the Winston yeah. Churchill war rooms and all that other good history stuff. Yeah, that was cool so, when, uh, when we were out in London. <sighs> Seems like so long ago now. And it, it wasn't. Was. It was a month and a half ago. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it seems like forever. Right. And I listened to an episode, uh, same show, of course, Freakonomics. Um, is America's education problem really just a teacher problem? Okay. It was talking about uh, how we educate our teachers. Okay. And they, uh, they're talking about how in other countries becoming a teacher, uh, getting into education um, is as difficult there as getting into MIT here. Wow. Okay. So it kind of, I, I mean, just telling you that, I mean, that much, mm -hmm. we kind of get the gist of, wrong. we might right. be doing something wrong. Absolutely. Right. So um, I also listened to an episode of Major Nelson Radio, uh, mm. Xbox Live's Major Nelson. And then I listened to uh, episode... I am so far behind on my cover bills. Uh, I don't know. You guys probably know from sh shows years past how much I love that. But to tell you how far back it is, I'm listening to the top 50 covers of 2013, which were the last couple of episodes of 2013. So I'm a year behind Yeah, on that. But um, And there were c covers that were recorded during 13 so there weren't may there or were, may not have been released during 13 no they were released during okay. 13 uh, my my thing is is that they aren't all great covers okay because you're talking about just the 50 best from a year mm, you know how many were released in in a year apparently a lot yeah unless it was like 52 but great ones well, like I was saying, yeah. unless there's like 52 covers released, and they're yeah. like, mm, "You two, you suck. Get the fuck out." Yeah, the, oh, the F oh, my bad. F bum. Where did Brick come from? Brick, what the? Get out of here, you, you lazy bum. <laughs> you and your dirty mouth. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, the top ten, <laughs> the top ten were were pretty decent, but you know, for the top 50. Eh, and the uh, the episode I started right after that, which is the episode I listened to on the way over here today, is um, covers of uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees. Okay. For 2013. Okay. Interesting. So there's there were some Nirvana covers and Linda Ronstadt covers and Kiss covers. Okay. So some uh, some interesting ones in there for sure. Very nice. And, too. and let's see here. What else? I think that was about it. All right. I mean, that was a lot. That's a lot. You're, you're <laughs> way ahead of me. Trust me. Yeah. I mean, between the, the gym and, and at work, you know, before and after my shift, whatnot, you know, I, I, I get some listening done. Mm -hmm. so. I get about 40 minutes a day if traffic is bad. So that's. It's roughly what I I would average, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and move on to what you're watching, Will. Uh, we're trying to finish up Grace Point this week. I mentioned that a couple of weeks ago. That this is the surprisingly mediocre <laughs> ten episode series on who killed a child on the coast of California in a small town. The small town dynamics that go along with that, starring David Tennant, who is a fantastic actor uh, and is probably the reason why we're still watching the show. 
Um, we have two episodes left. And I'm not sure that I'm going to be thoroughly impressed enough to go meh or meh when it's all said and done. Sure, sure. No, I, th- I think it's interesting that David Tennant stars in both Grace Point and Broadchurch. Mm-hmm. Which is what, which is what Grace, Grace Point Church. is based yeah. on. I just said Grace Church. You did. How about that? It's it could be the same. It could be the same. Uh, yeah. Different different character names, different but same parts. Yeah, same basically. part. You're still the lead investigator, lead detective kind of thing. Yeah. Um yeah. It, you know, we'll finish it up. We'll see how it goes. Um like I said I think we've got an hour and a half left in the season at this point. So we'll knock that out. Um we have watched some mysteries at the museum this week. Uh, which is a good show if you're looking for the little odds and ends that certain museums in the in the world hold. I think really the interesting thing for me is finding out what all there are museums of. I mean, you kind of think museums of nature and science and museums of, you know, uh, natural, natural history. history and all that yeah. other stuff, but you have like, you know, the world's largest string cheese museum and the world's largest uh, thread museum and all these weird esoteric collections that are out there. And then they have this one shining piece with an interesting backstory uh, throughout that people that the episode kind of focuses on. So it's an interesting little show if you're uh, if you're bored, but like museums, check it out. And uh, what else have we watched this week? That may be about it, which is significantly more than I've been able to talk about in the previous couple of episodes. So That's true. We're moving up in the world. <laughs> Good yeah. for you. How about you? What you uh, what you had on the tube? I've uh, been watching some American Horror Story. I think I'm up to date on that. We're four episodes down. Into this season? Yes, into this season. Okay, so you've been watching. Uh, we're, I don't know if I'm this, and we're in the same place. I don't know how many episodes there have been this season so far. I think eight. Yeah, I think there's supposed to be 13 or 14 this year. Okay. So, I, I think I'm up to date on that show. Okay. Um, I'm liking it so far. I, I liked I liked the clown. Twisty. Yeah. Twisty the clown. Twisty is a good character. I Yeah, I was hoping that he would stay around longer than he mm. did. So. <clears throat> uh, a couple of my throwaway shows, Mentalist and, mm-hmm. and uh, Hawaii Five-0. Oh, Hawaii Five-0 even. Oh yeah, oh I like it. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm not judging you. I'm, no, no, I, I, I I'm, dig it. You know, it it entertains me. All right, and <laughs> really, what else would you be looking for besides right. entertainment? So, yeah, and, and like I said, throwaway shows, mindless right. entertainment. It's just on. Grace Park is on there, and they solve uh, ridiculous mysteries very quickly. In about forty-two minutes. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, another, uh, you know, I, I was talking about last, I think last week, where there was a show that I was watching and I didn't finish it up, and then I went went back to it, and mm-hmm. I just realized that all I had left to was to watch the finale. Okay. I did that again. Um, I went back to watch <laughs> Rush. To uh, to see how much I needed to get caught up on. Okay. And You're I like, just oh, had the finale. And I'm done. And, and I'm, I'm spent. spent. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's that's all done. And you know, of course, we uh, we watched the Sons of Anarchy finale, right. uh, series finale, uh, a week late. Brick and I both did. He's not here to talk about it. I think I'll wait for him to talk about it. Yeah, he was. Uh, he's been fairly passionate and vociferous, if you will, over the past couple of episodes about his sudden hate for the show. He was his hate came from the second to last episode. Yes. So I'm wondering if the yeah, final I'm, finale, if you will, has uh, redeemed him or confirmed him. Well, I I will spoil that conversation a little bit and say that uh, I didn't have the hate that he did in the second episode. Right. Um, it's a little more hate for me in the finale. In the, in the finale for for me. Okay. A little more hate. All right. Mostly dealing with the last five minutes of the show. Okay. 
because I think I think I said something about it couldn't be as bad as the finale of Dexter right. or Lost. Right. And Brick said he thought absolutely it could, be, it could be. It could be as bad. And I think you mentioned the Sopranos. Yeah. It may have been that bad. I don't know about the Sopranos because I never watched the Sopranos. I never watched the Sopranos. Yeah, watched the Sopranos. So. Anyway. Anyways. Yeah, well, there was that. Stay and, tuned, in, in other words. And Brick would be excited to hear that I have uh, started my catch up on Boardwalk Empire. Okay. So I, I have watched episodes one through three of season four of Boardwalk Empire. Good. I have not started it. It's a good show. I've heard I've heard very good things about yeah. it. Yeah, and I'm a huge Steve Buscemi fan. So, oh yeah, you you dig it because he he is the central character. Yes, throughout He's the series. Good. Yeah, like yeah. Especially, he just has so much more credibility for me after getting into a bar fight with broken bottles with Vince Vaughn. I think, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry his face got torn up, but that oh man, that's such a good story. Uh, I'm sure he probably <laughs> feels differently about it. But, right. Yeah. You know, He's a good dude. He's I like him. I like him a lot. Yeah, yeah. He's a good actor. I I, I liked him. I, I caught about uh, five minutes of him in another uh, uh, another role, a less good role, but still, you know. Uh, Madison was watching uh, Armageddon the other day. Yep. Yep. So. Yep. He did have some of the best lines from that show. He did. And let's face it, it's not a great movie. But it's not a great what movie. He contributed to it, really helped. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Good. Okay, that wraps that up. Uh, well, what's your plan? This week, I've actually managed to touch and play three games. What? I know, I'm proud of myself. Uh, of course, Destiny this week. Um, oh, Destiny. Oh, Destiny. Um, Finished up two exotic bounties, which is pretty good for me for that game. I'm very happy about one of them. Thanks got, to your uh, help. I got, I got to uh, help participate in that. Some fun shenanigans. I'm um, still trying to figure out if I'm ever going to find time to complete the raids. Um, I've never participated in a raid. I'm going to have to try the destinylfg.com uh, or .org or whatever it is. But there is a group out there, a website out there, designed to help Destiny players find people to play with. So I'm going to have to look into that. Um, I'm just, you know, I would be afraid playing with total strangers that they wouldn't be as forgiving of my sucking at that game as uh, <laughs> as friends would be. I think if you advertise that you're a complete noob, they will respect you for that. Okay. So, yeah, it's worth a shot. If not, you I just leave don't, the group I just and don't have, on with life. I don't have the the uh, same coordination that I used to. It's unfortunate, but true. I've got big monkey hands. It happens. Um... I took a little break from Destiny to play oddly enough, me. The Walking Dead. Oh, I like that. On the Xbox One. I, uh, I, I had a review code games. for Season 1. Mm -hmm. I picked up Season 1 and Season 2 on the cheap over the November holiday sale season. Uh, they were running both complete seasons for the Xbox One for like 20 bucks. So, yeah. Solid. Sounds good, yeah, because I barely touched it on the 360, and it's good. It's very enjoyable. Yeah. Uh, some very tough decisions, but Telltale Games, the studio behind it, puts together a really good package. Uh, I actually really enjoyed what they were doing with uh, The Wolf Among Us on the 360. Yeah, which I hear is amazing. I have an amazing story. Amazing I've artwork. got maybe season um, episode one yep. of The Wolf Among Us. Yep. I haven't I'll played it yet. And finish. It's good. I recommend it. Uh, and then for an hour this morning while I was battling my insomnia, I played Dragon Age Inquisition. Ooh. Yes. Finished the two quests. I was quite content. And how, how far into the game are you now? About 30 hours? Uh, about 30 hours in and probably an hour to two hours into the main quest line. So I've been dinking around for 25 hours out in the wilderness, you know, like, oh, hello, farmer. You look like you need help. Let me help you. Oh, let's go find this over hey, here. Hey, buddy. Oh, let's go do this. Hey. <laughs> Finger guns. You know, yeah. So I've been dinking around for hours and hours and hours and still am enjoying the game. So. Cool. How about you? Destiny. Destiny. Yeah, I try and get on and, and uh, I've been... Uh, 
you know, fortunate enough to be able to play with you and Jordan yep. a few days this week, a couple of days. Uh, I try to get on and play at least the daily story every day, but um, that's not quite as possible now that they're uh, Love the so, 30, occasionally make 30, 30 heroic stories. Yeah. Oh my, when you're I, not level I just want to play through this in like 10, 15 minutes. Right. That's what I That's what I have time for. Right. Uh, I don't necessarily want to commit half an hour, 45 minutes to it. So I try to you know pick up a couple of uh, bounties and and knock those out, you know, yeah, just to make slow progress, yeah. but progress, progress, to get progress. get my uh, daily fix. It's good, but that's that's about it. It's good. That's all right. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's good. And you've at least opened the Master Chief collection. I did open it. You've installed it to the hard drive. I've installed it to the hard drive and even I, I played a, a mission. Patch, I played, played a mission. mission so. I played the first level of uh, uh, Combat Evolved mm -hmm. on Heroic. Okay. I don't have any patience for Legendary without co op. Yeah, without co op, right. No. Still cool. working on trying to get that together. Yeah, as soon as I get some funds. Yeah. 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 I. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I, I'm thinking. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for this next week. You know, because I'm, I'm uh, in town this week, but I'm out of town Christmas week. Correct. I may have to pack up my 360, and yeah. either rent or buy a copy of Destiny for yeah. the 360. Yeah, because you're going to need to get your fix. I will, and you know, it's like, you know, I don't sleep all that much. <laughs> no. Uh, I don't want to like my my mom to feel obligated to entertain me. Right. So. Might not be a bad idea. Might not be a bad idea. I just wish Destiny for the 360 were cheaper. Uh, I, I know in my mind, I think, well, Destiny for the 360 should be only like 20 bucks because it's for last gen system. No, that's not how it works. No. It's still a new game. It's still 60 bucks. Still 60 bucks. So I don't think I can justify Buying it, but maybe renting it from Redbox, I could do. Because that'd be seven dollars versus sixty dollars. No, it'd be more than that because they're like two dollars a day now. So it'd be fourteen dollars versus sixty dollars. Yeah. And it's realistically, not the, it's not the first time I've rented it though. Um, <laughs> I've rented it three three other times, I believe. Have you put sixty dollars into the three sixty version? Not yet. Then you're still good. <sighs> you're still saving money. It's still on the bottom half of that. Still saving money. I was really hoping for Destiny to go thirty bucks during like a holiday sale or something. Still too new, especially with the uh, DLC that just hit. I have to check Craigslist so we can get a three sixty version. Yeah. If on, if only the the promise that we would receive years and years ago that the digital versions would be cheaper than the the uh, what <laughs> the <Please>. physical versions. <sighs> If only that had been true. Please. It's not true. It's not it was true. a lie. It'll it was the promise true. of candy as well. You know why? Because Xbox One or Xbox Live and PS Experience, whatever it's called, are not, Network. Yeah. Are not Steam. That's true. They're Speaking not Speaking of which, shameless plug, Steam Holiday Sale is on. Uh, oh, that's true. And I'm, I'm going to go uh, peruse games. their selection tonight. Go get some games. You know what I really want? What do you really want? You know what I want? What I really, really want? Tell me what you want. <laughs> what you really, really want? <laughs> I and want Fallout 4, damn it. Yes, Fallout 4. I'm telling you, Fallout 4. And Elder and Scrolls Online. Elder Scrolls Online yeah. and Half-Life 3. I don't care as much about Half-Life 3. I do. I, I care more about Half-Life 3 than I do Elder Scrolls Online. Have you played Elder Scrolls Online? I have not, and I still want Half-Life 3 more than Elder Scrolls Online. It's it's Oblivion. Yes. Maybe Online. even Skyrim. As an MMO. As an MMO. It's fantastic. I, I'm not arguing that. I'm just telling you. I personally, this is me talking to you. I want Half-Life 3 and Fallout 4 more than Elder Scrolls Online. Okay. 
I know which one I'm going to get first. It's going to be Elder Scrolls Online because right. the other two aren't coming out. <laughs> right. So see, I got the what, best of all uh, worlds. I can still want the other two we, titles more. So are I know we, what I'm going to get. Is it, it's uh, spring now, right? Yes. Yeah. For the Xbox One. But that game. As long as it's good. <laughs> I, you know, I'm all in favor of software companies uh, taking the time and holding back the product and yeah. saying, it's not ready, it's not ready, it's not ready. Uh, let's put a little spit, let's put a little polish on it, let's fix the bugs. Let's I make wish sure they would do it more faces. often. I do too. I wish they'd done that with They're trying to Unity get these deadlines and, out and, and like, Master no. Chief Collection. Deadline, Holy deadline, crap. deadline, deadline. We got to beat the holiday rush. We got to beat the holiday rush. Oh my God, we're not going to make any money if we don't do this. But then they wind up putting out a shitty product and everyone's like, Pfft. And then they get this whole backlash, and then Ubisoft's like, "All right, we screwed up here. Please have all this DLC for free, which is only cutting into their pockets." Yeah. So I wish that they would take the time and say, "You know what? It's not ready. It's not working. We're going to delay it and delay it and delay it until it gets fixed." As long yeah. as then, the caveat to this, when it does come out, it should be a solid product. Right. Yeah, I'm tired of having uh, massive day one patches that still don't fix everything. Right. Master Chief Collection, the uh, the matchmaking, still mostly broken. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it? A month later now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's unforgivable. Probably should have delayed that. Probably should have delayed that. You know, what? at this rate, should have delayed it until the holiday of next year. Yeah. And then you could have added another ten dollars to it and included Halo Five. But you, yeah, I'm just saying because holiday uh, holiday 2015 is when Halo Five is coming out, yep. more than likely. So made it an eighty dollar game instead of two fifty dollar games or two sixty dollar games. Yeah, as long as they work. Right. But <coughs> and soapbox. Call me crazy. And tirade. We just lost our <laughs> last viewer, so that probably tells us something. <laughs> We had one viewer for 90% of the show. He's gone now. Bye. Bye. We're sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. 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 So we'll wrap it up there, I think. Yeah, I think, I think that's good. Um, oh, I will not see you next week. No. I think uh, next week, uh, Will and his wife, and maybe uh, Brick or somebody else, uh, maybe they'll have some, some time next week to come and record a show with you. That'd be lovely. I I will let you do the griping next week. Oh, yes. And uh, and get somebody on the show. I will see what I can. Maybe your your schedule is more compatible with uh, with the other gentlemen. Perhaps. Perhaps. Uh, and if not, I'll just turn the webcam on and entertain the world with a cat because it's the internet. <laughs> I hear the internet <laughs> likes cats. I hear the internet <laughs> likes cats. <laughs> Just have uh, a <laughs> oh yeah, have have Schmittler there. <laughs> a little string. Uh, Four hours of that just, just gonna be like you're never. Allowed just put a mi again. microphone by him. It'll be <laughs> it'll fine. All right, with that, uh, anyway, um, I will I will see you guys in a couple weeks. But we do, will have a a show Christmas week. Yes, there will there will be some. In some type way, of activity. shape, or form, come hell, high water, blizzards. Or may flood. not, may not even be in the same format. May just be a random show. It but we, we'll, there will, uh, there will be a show. It's going to depend on if I get into the Christmas tequila early that day. Ooh, Christmas tequila! I yes. just like the sound of that. Yes, it should be a thing. That sounds fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to miss that. No, it'll be recorded for posterity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I will not be present for that. Yes, that is better. That's okay. more correct. So, All right, bye guys. Thank one, you for watching and listening. See you guys. <laughs>